Imagine, if you will, a polar bear named Cloud, far from his icy home, trekking through the scorching Sahara Desert. This is not a mirage nor a figment of your imagination, it's a stark reality that defies all odds. A polar bear built for the bone-chilling cold of the Arctic, enduring the blistering heat of the world's largest hot desert. Let's take a moment to meet our unexpected traveler. Cloud, a magnificent polar bear, finds himself in the midst of an expanse of sand and heat, a world away from the frosty landscapes he's accustomed to. The stark contrast between the icy tundra and the scorching desert is nothing less than bewildering. It's a mystery, a riddle wrapped in an enigma that begs the question, how did a creature of the cold end up in the heart of the desert? How did Cloud end up here? And how will he survive? The answers lie ahead. In the face of adversity, life finds a way and so does Cloud. This polar bear, far from the icy reaches of his natural habitat, has learned to adapt to the extreme conditions of the Sahara Desert. His survival strategies are a remarkable testament to the resilience of nature. During the scorching daytime hours, Cloud seeks out shade under sparse desert vegetation, conserving his energy for the cooler night. As the sun sets, he becomes a nocturnal hunter, capitalizing on the desert's drop in temperature. His prey? Anything that moves under the moonlight, from small rodents to larger ungulates who also call this arid landscape home. Water, of course, is a precious commodity in the desert. Cloud has honed his senses to detect the subtlest signs of moisture. He digs in dry riverbeds, follows the flight paths of birds, and even extracts water from the food he eats. And speaking of food, Cloud has had to adapt his diet significantly. He's switched from the fatty seals of the Arctic to the leaner meat of desert animals. It's a change that has required his metabolism to adapt in remarkable ways. Through all of this, Cloud is more than just surviving. He's thriving. His story is a testament to the power of adaptability, the will to survive, and the incredible resilience of life itself. Cloud's survival showcases the remarkable adaptability of nature. Even in the harshest conditions, life prevails, and so does Cloud's journey. As we delve deeper into our tale, we find our resilient protagonist, Cloud, the polar bear, in an environment that is as alien as it is hostile. The Sahara Desert, with its relentless heat, scant food sources, and vast isolation, poses challenges that are both formidable and fascinating. In this extreme heat, where the sun blazes with unyielding intensity, Cloud must find ways to stay cool. The polar bear, an animal designed for the frozen Arctic, is now navigating the scorching sands of the Sahara. The lack of food, a challenge that would daunt the bravest, is yet another hurdle Cloud must overcome. But in the face of such adversity, Cloud adapts, evolves, and survives. Cloud's survival strategies are as ingenious as they are necessary. He learns to become nocturnal, seeking shelter during the day when the heat is at its peak, and venturing out in the cooler hours of the night. He learns to track and hunt the sparse elusive desert creatures that become his new, unusual diet. Despite the isolation, Cloud finds solace in his own company, proving that solitude can be a profound teacher. Cloud's journey, wrought with obstacles, is a testament to the indomitable spirit of survival, the relentless pursuit of life, and the remarkable power of adaptation. His story reminds us that even in the face of the harshest conditions, life prevails. Cloud's journey is a testament to the incredible power of adaptation and survival. But the question remains, how did Cloud end up in the Sahara? The answer to this mystery isn't quite black and white. Could a shift in climate patterns have caused our Arctic friend to drift into uncharted territory? Or was it displacement due to human activities that led to this polar bear's unlikely journey? Climate change, a burning issue of our times, is causing unprecedented shifts in habitats. The melting ice caps of the Arctic, Cloud's natural home, are a testament to this. But could it also be a case of displacement? Encroachments on natural habitats by human civilization are not unheard of and could have driven Cloud into the world's largest desert. As we unravel this mystery, we're led into a broader conversation about the impact of our actions on wildlife. It's a conversation that needs to be had, for our sake and theirs. Cloud's journey, while extraordinary, is a stark reminder of the challenges wildlife face in a rapidly changing world.